Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be working on Project Zara. I'm going to be showing you a, a tip and a little trick I've worked out um, if you happen to break one of the uh, bonnet studs that holds it to the car. So let's jump in. Uh, so guys, first of all, the reason I took the bonnet off the car about uh, five months ago when it failed the MOT was because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of work underneath the bonnet, battery off quite a lot of times, all that sort of stuff. And these bonnets don't actually open that far on this car, so um, I thought it was best to take it off. Now, um, on one side of the car, the studs and nuts came off fine, no trouble at all. On the other side, however, even after heat and WD-40, they still sheared, because there's always one. And in this case, there's two. So I was in a bit of a panic then, because obviously the studs actually go through the holes and then are slotted and are held on the other side by a nut. So if you haven't actually got a thread there, then there's no way of putting the bonnet back on. Um, if it was just one, that would have been fine, but because both of them on one side have sheared, obviously it can't be held on. So I've been thinking to myself, what the hell do I do? Um, and then the other week I came up with an ingenious idea and it's actually worked. So I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case this happens to your car. So here's actually where the um, bonnet slots through into the uh, into the hinges that's hold to the car. Uh, so the thread goes through the top and then you basically screw a nut on the bottom. Uh, this is the driver's side of the bonnet, uh, came off without a hitch, um, so you can see there the studs are, uh, well they're, they're, they're torqued down for the moment, but the studs obviously sit out of the bonnet and then you put the nut on the other side and torque it down, um, however, on the passenger side of the bonnet, however, the studs decided to uh, crap themselves and have completely sheared in half. Now, um, this is a bit of a problem area because obviously you need this stud stuck out and then you put it on the hinge and then stick a you know a nut on the top so obviously without that you can't really put the bonnet back on um but with a little bit of research and a bit of ingenuity i discovered you could put a riv nut in them which i've done here already so what i'm going to do today is show you exactly what you need to do to put this in um it's not too difficult really you're not going to need that many tools you just need a bit of confidence with it uh, so guys the tools you'll need for doing this are um, an angle grinder um a drill with some metal drill bits uh, that are quite fat so you need basically a drill bit that's going to be the same size as the hole you want to punch and uh, a riv nut tool uh, this one's really cheap off ebay it's not great um, i wouldn't really recommend it but it's all right for the job um, but it's not great for bigger things but just for doing this it's fine so um first thing you want to do is angle grind the stud flat um, annoyingly i didn't film that but basically you get the idea that um you just sort of grind it back down level to the uh, bonnet. And then um, once you've actually angle grinded it flat, you want to effectively just start with a small one and make a punch hole and sort of step up the drill bits in size until you've effectively drilled yourself a hole that's the same size as your riv nut. And then effectively you can put your riv nut in. So what we'll do now, I'm going to show on the video me going up in different drill steps so you can see me actually over time making the hole bigger and wider so you can fit your, um, your riv nut in. Until you've drilled yourself your decent sized hole for your riv nut, basically. Um, you just want to keep going with different steps of the drill until you punch through um, with a big enough hole. And there we go guys, that's a uh, riv nut put inside the bonnet. Uh, the reason I haven't done them the same size is because um, the holes are actually um, an oval and a circle on the front. And I won't be putting the bonnet on this video to see if it actually worked because um, I'm still kind of working on uh, Project Zara. The exhaust needs uh, seeing too and there's some other things I want to change around the front as well. So I'll be leaving the bonnet off for the time being. But um, I've kind of worked out that some additional cutting may be needed for these little holes, just a bit of spacing out. But... I can't imagine that'll be a lot because you have kind of used the exact same sort of hole. As long as they look straight, 
really from where you are they should be all right and the threads going nice and straight so uh yeah i think that's a pretty good job uh, i said i just a minute ago i wasn't going to actually show the um new bonnet um on the car but i've decided to line it up um i filmed that video like last week so i put the bonnet back on now so i thought i'd actually just show it on so here is the um side that didn't need changing as you can see the studs come down and the nut secures on the inside um whereas over on the passenger side it's now got bolts that go up into the uh into the bonnet and i'll tell you what it's actually stayed really well i'm really pleased with it so um definitely recommend doing this if you break your bonnet studs which i'm sure you will because they're very fragile so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video um just a little bit of a diy sort of thing um not a huge video just in case you break one of these studs getting these off because i had noticed these are extremely uh brittle they're really old i can't imagine they've ever been off in this car they've still got the original paint covering them when i took them off even a bit of heat and wd-40 did not get through them so um not the end of the world cheap rev nut gun like they're not great but they do the job all right you know just drill them out put a new rivet in they're basically deep enough for a rivet nut you won't hit the bonnet at all and you'll keep the paint nice so don't worry about that and then bolts and that can just go through effectively what you're doing is just switching the thread to the actual bonnet and the bolt that and it goes through instead of having a thread on the bonnet and having a nut uh yeah guys so i hope you enjoyed this video um don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a comment because that seems to be what everyone's talking about this youtube algorithm they seem to like videos that have engaged so let me know what your thoughts on this is uh, just like any other video um, yeah, so um, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps the channel, and I will see you in my next video.